so this is going to be the last video that I do in this series about uh, internet connected things, unless you all ask for more. Uh, we're going to be using a service called If This Then That, ifttt.com, and we're going to connect this with our Adafruit account, as well as, in this case, for me, I'm going to connect to my Google Assistant on my phone. So I'll say a command to my phone, and then that will set the brightness of these LEDs. Uh, it's a neat trick, but it's not the only thing you can do with this. If this, then that is a service that provides a whole bunch of different connections between a variety of services. So you can see it's got SMS, Dropbox, email, Google Drive, you know, location, Slack, et cetera. So all these different things here, you could have like a, an Alexa app that then uh, looks to, <laughs> that looks to, uh, you know, change the, the color or brightness of the lights that you may have connected or something else, right? You could hook this up to Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, all sorts of things. Uh, and so it's not just a one-way street. It's not just sending things here. You could also, uh, you know, use some sort of sensor data or something to trigger what some of these events also. Uh, this is just a, a fun uh, example, I think. So once you, you'll need to register for an account here and you're going to need to connect your your whatever services you want to use through if this then that it's a secure service they have been around for years so uh you know you're you're do you're giving them access and your and credentials to your things but there's no danger of them sort of like taking it and running off and selling it to the highest bidder uh you know, they're 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 well established and known so don't 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 think this is some sort of weird fly by night operation uh, so um, what we're going to do here is first, once we've signed in here, I'm going to um, authorize uh, my uh, my Adafruit account to work with this, if this, then that. So in the uh, Adafruit IO site, you'll see that you've got um, these links for profile feeds, dashboards, triggers, and services. And on services, you'll see it's got a whole bunch of different things here. And so I'm going to click on if this, then that. I'll say manager connection, and then I'm going to click on this right here, and it'll take me to a page where I can say like connect, right? So um, this is the this you'll see this link is on if this then that, so you could just go here directly if this then that.com slash Adafruit. You click on connect, and it takes me back to the Adafruit page where it's then going to ask me to authorize uh, use of uh, the, of these services. So instead of copying that API key, uh, instead I'm just going to click on authorize here, and this will now link the two accounts together. So if I click on settings here, we'll see that there's um, now it's got my information in here, uh, you know, and so I can go back and now I've got access to this. Now I did this, I did something very similar to this with the um, Google Assistant. Uh, and so uh, you'll need to do that. Uh, you know, you can go into settings here and turn it on. You'll need to do that um, when you, if you want to use this, you'll need to do it with any sort of service that you're looking to, to use here. So uh, I'm going to uh, go back here to this home page, and I'll show you how you go through and create uh, a, 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 a thing. Um, they call it, uh, you know, they, they call it a, an applet. And so in order to get to that, I'm, I clicked on the explore button in the top right. Now I'm only doing this after I've connected all the different accounts that I want, right? So if you want to use Twitter or whatever, you'll need to make those connections too. Um, so I'm going to click on this button right here to make my own applet from scratch. And you'll see it says if, and then this is grayed out, then that. So you click on the this and they'll give you a list of all the different services that they have it's a ton right um so i'm going to click on adafruit uh or actually no i don't want adafruit because the if here the if this action happens then do that so if the if in this case is the google assistant so it's got these are some of the actions so the triggers right say a simple phrase say a phrase with the number say a phrase with a text ingredient, uh, or say a phrase with both a number and a text ingredient, right? So I'm just going to say, uh, use say a phrase with a number, 
Now I get to construct my own phrase here. So what do I want to say? Uh, let's say set the LED brightness to, and then the way that I indicate that there's a variable in my speech in this is with a pound sign. So, uh, so the, the process would be, I'm going to call it to my phone and then I'm going to say, set the LED brightness to 255, right? And then they'll send in it's that this trigger will then send it to Adafruit IO. And then the sketch that I was running previously, will just pick it up and, uh, and write that out to the LEDs. So I have got the option for saying a different way, um, turn the LEDs to level pound sign. And there's other ways that you can do this too, but these are both sufficient. Um, what I want this to say in response, so I can actually, uh, you know, uh, give it a, say, this is exactly what I want it to reply with. So I'm going to just have it say, um, uh, I have sent your uh, message message and the LEDs will change brightness shortly. Great. So this is my trigger. Now, so if, and then Google Assistant, that's the icon for the logo for Google Assistant, then that, and so this is the output here. So I'm going to click on add a fruit. And then it'll say send data. This is the only thing that they really have here. Send data to Adafruit.io. So um, and then it'll ask. It'll give a list of all your feed names. So if you've got more, I just have this one right now. If you had more, they would all show up in this drop down. Uh, and then the data to save, right? And so um, they've got these things where you can add ingredients. So this is sort of like things that they know to expect. And you click on it, you'll see created at so the time or uh, the number field and will come from this, right? So it'll come from this say a phrase with a number. So any sort of uh, trigger that you've already established will appear here. So I'm looking for a number field and just populates that and I'll say create action. Wait for a moment. Okay, great. So uh, now I can say finish and you'll see this is a little thing. It says, if you say set the LED brightness to number, then send data to test data feed. Cool. So I'm going to say finish, and it, I've got this toggle right here where I can connect or disconnect it, right? So it's disconnecting. Okay, I don't want that. I actually want it to get connected because uh, we're going to use this. Um, I keep on clicking it because they've got this like stupid animation that makes me not know if it's actually doing something. Okay, here we go. So it's connecting. Uh, everything's cool. So if I go back to my if this then that page, uh, now I'll see um, uh, this this is sitting right at the top here. If I click on the add a fruit, we'll see that this right here it says this is the um, the the recipe that I just made, right? So now with my phone, uh, if I unlock this and I say Okay, Google, set the LED brightness to 255. And we can see that it changed in the sketch back here, and then the LEDs turn on. You can also see that it's got this right here. And then I say, okay, Google, set the LED brightness to 10. Oh, there we go. Uh, and one more time. Okay, Google, set the LED brightness to zero. And they're off. So cool. So now you can see this is how you can connect uh, a service like if this then that to connect other things to an Adafruit IO feed. Uh, it's a great way to start to think about how you can connect this to other services to send information to other folks uh, or yourself. Um, you know, it's just, uh, it's, it's a really groovy toy to play around with. So uh, totally suggest you trying this out. It's a lot of fun. It's not too difficult to get set up. You know, if you've got questions, 
let me know and uh yeah enjoy <laughs>